newest edition is the best one yet, for many reasons. Take a look. The old 88 is all new for 71, as are all of the big cars from General Motors, from Chevrolet right on up through Buick. Not just in the styling department, but they've also been re-engineered from bumper to bumper and feature greater interchangeability of chassis parts than ever before. The styling of the new Oldsmobile leans a little toward the fuselage shape, thus giving more shoulder room on the interior than in the past. For go power, this Delta had the top of the line 455 cubic inch V8, topped by one four barrel carburetor delivering 320 horsepower at 4,400 RPMs. For obvious reasons, when testing a big luxury car such as this, we never expect much excitement in the acceleration runs. But this one turned out to be a better than average hauler. 30 miles an hour took 3.8 seconds. The second time out of the hole, we had 50 in 5.9 seconds. With the tires hot and all the parts really working, we ran our best 60 mile an hour go in 8.8 .8 seconds. By the way, Oldsmobile still features positive valve rotation in all their new engines, thus putting them in a good position to handle the upcoming low-octane lead-free fuel. I think the biggest surprise with our tester came in the stop department. In the past, good brakes have never been a strong feature in the Olds we've tested. This stop took 36 feet. The 50 mile an hour stop was made in a good straight line, little or no correction necessary, and it took 94 feet. On this 70 mile an hour panic stop, heat buildup was not excessive and pedal fade at a minimum. It ground to a halt in 197 feet. That's a tremendous improvement over previous models. The test car had the heavy-duty shocks and torsion bars. This beefier suspension system goes out as an option for about $16. It's well worth it. It enabled us to run the pylon course faster with more stability and less body lead. Rebound and recovery were good. Here's that same run head-on in slow motion. At 45 miles an hour, you can see the suspension and tires really working. pound hauler, our driver was able to bring the 88 through the corners with comparative ease. This car shares some of its suspension components with Buick. As a result, they've adopted Buick's camber compensation system. With this method, the camber opposes the shift of the center of gravity. It's very effective in high-speed cornering, as well as minimizing the effects of heavy crosswinds on the highway. All Oldsmobiles feature the latest GM safety innovations for 71, guardrails in the doors, a double panel roof, which acts essentially as a roll cage, also a steel barrier between the rear seat and the luggage compartment. 